All right, guys, I just got done casting a bunch of uh, number four buckshot with one of my Lee molds. I just wanted to put up a quick video. I'm not going to show you how to cast. I mean, the casting is the same as it was with uh, the Lee Key Drive 7-8 seven, seven ounce slug mold. To, I do everything exactly the same. Um, the only thing that's different is these number four buckshots, when they come out of the mold, there's there's a... Uh, three strings of six so it's a six cavity mold with three pieces of number four buck in each cavity they come in out in like this little sh like string of pearls kind of deal so it it is relatively painstaking but uh, I cast my buckshot with decently high tin content because it drops out of the mold way better so it's a little harder and you can't you can't just snap the string of pearls apart with your fingers you gotta take a pair of uh, diagonal cutters and snip each individual piece of buckshot apart into its, uh, you know, so make it an individual pellet of buckshot. But so I just usually get everything set up here and then put five or six groups of three in my hand and then just snip, snip. It doesn't take that long. I mean, it could be worse. And then also while I'm doing this, I'm looking for any buckshot pellets that were cast extremely off spec like there's one right there it'd be hard probably to see but it's like the shape of a teardrop um you could load it and it probably and i mean it'll, it'll come out of the gun but it's not going to fly very nice so i kind of call out all those super off spec pieces while i'm separating just set them off and then you can remelt them and turn them into a new piece of buckshot or bullet or whatever that's the beauty about uh, casting lead bullets is there's really no waste. I mean, even when I shoot this stuff, a lot of times at my gun club, I'll uh, I'll go and pick up all the the uh, the bullets in the, from the berm, or sift them out with the, with the screen, and just remelt them and cast them again. That's basically it, though. I just wanted to you know give you guys a little insight into you know if you're thinking about getting into loading buckshot. Um, you got to make sure you're thinking about how, you know, how much work actually goes into producing the shot. It's not just, it's not as simple as filling up the mold and then dropping the buckshot and loading it. There's a whole process and this is basically the second step. You know, cast it and then come and separate it like this. Um, but that's it. Just wanted to, you know, give you a little insight on that. Thanks.